Hey, and welcome back. Uh, this is Andy Lindemann, Bubba, back here. Um, well, I think I'm just going to title this uh, Arc Adventures because, uh, you know, it's just going to be kind of some random videos until I get done. I am back on the island. Um, I'm about to wrap things up on Scorched Earth, and uh, I just came back here to get a few supplies. Um uh, which I've already been busy before I started recording. I made some some extraordinary kibble um, or exceptional kibble. You know, I can't remember. They, whichever one's the, the best one. I wish they both didn't start the letter E. And, um, and I don't even remember what else I made. Uh, I did, the Easter event is going on, and so I did destroy all the wild dinos. Um and so uh we we may get interrupted by <laughs> by some uh, uh wandering dinos that get too close to the base or too close to my critters uh and I'm, i may have to stop and deal with them but uh anyway what i thought i'd do today is uh give you guys a quick um rundown or or introduce you to my dino family here on the island and, uh, and this can be kind of weird um i am capturing this on a different device because of the 10 minute limit of capturing onto the xbox one itself um so i'm capturing onto a flash drive so i can capture longer but that means i have to go in and edit because i've got so many dinos basically out in my yard uh, they can't the game can't render them all well i say the game it's noon okay that's a great time to do a tour um the uh, the xbox no, no yeah the xbox one it just can't render all the dinos so um uh, there'll be lots of cuts <laughs> while we wait for stuff to render uh but let's go ahead and start with my indoor animals. You know, you have some animals that are indoor and some that are outdoor. And uh so these are the indoor critters or some of them. There's you know some others that are roaming around. Uh I've got several. I say several. I have two. I have two um otters and, and they are the best. Uh I love the otters. They are Probably my favorite little critter um, on <laughs> uh, in the game. Uh, they are super cute. And uh, this is Snickerdoodle. And Snickerdoodle is still wearing the Santa cap I slapped on his head uh, back at Christmas. Um, so let's get off of me. All right. And so uh, I don't even know. Snickerdoodle, yeah, Snickerdoodle's in charge of wearing, or of carrying a bunch of hats, things like that. Uh, this is the Utter Otter. Other, Utter Otter? Other Otter. Uh, and it was obviously during the Christmas event because you got some red and green. Look at that. You see that look? Red, green, and white going on. It's, to be fair, it's a pretty ugly otter. But I did not want to take Snickerdoodle into the battle. Move it. Move it, Slimer. I did not want to take Snickerdoodle into the battle with the Overseer because I was afraid uh, Snickerdoodle would die. So I did find another otter, which took forever. I have a hard time finding otters. Um, and, so, and I didn't even name it because I figured um, she would die. Um, but she didn't. She survived, kept me warm in the insanely cold parts of the cave leading up to the overseer battle and uh so i named her Overseer killer <laughs> uh you can see i've got some uh some i just call them monkeys can i just call them monkeys i think they're called mesopithecus um uh, but anyway uh i i i get them i get all the primate names mixed up but uh this poop cannon I don't think Poop Cannon, yeah, Poop Cannon is, is just when I'm going into battle and I want I want something on my shoulder that's going to fling some poo at uh, other stuff that might be coming at me, which actually slows down stuff that's attacking you, uh, which is kind of handy. 
Uh, in fact, all the monkeys, they all have uh, Slimer? Where's your problem, bro? Look, you'll get your moment. You'll get your 15 minutes of fame. Just chill. Uh, they all have uh, kind of poop um, joke names like Hoo Flung Poo and Dung Flung. And, uh, and one of these, I think, is, is another... Oop, did not mean to do that. Now you're on my shoulder. See? Okay. Bad monkey. Uh, oh, that's perfect. Now your head's in the door. Or the wall. Okay, your inventory is empty. I think this one with the little cowboy hat... Ah, uh, yeah, there's my chibis. You're the chibi holder. You. <laughs> That's chibi storage. Uh, who else do we have over here? We have Flappy Bird. Um, which Flappy Bird uh, was really only useful. I, I tamed it just because I wanted one. And uh, under the right conditions, uh, the Hesperonis will lay a golden egg, which is kind of cool. And, and this is Jerk. Yep, I called you jerk. I see the way you, I see the way you look at me, jerk. Uh, in fact, I need a jerk to uh, help me get Overseer Killer. Uh, but these these birds, I cannot stand them. The Ichthyornis, they will fly up and they will steal stuff out of your inventory and run off with it, and it is super annoying. And uh, I normally shoot them on sight. Uh, but then I found out, hey, they can catch fish for you, and uh, so I tamed one, uh, but I still think these birds are jerks, and hence the name jerk. Uh, I tamed a compi, uh, like from Jurassic Park, is it three, two, three? I don't know, it's the one with a little girl, and she gets eaten by the little swarm of the little tiny dinos, so this is one of them. Uh, just so I could say I tamed one, uh, it, I, I don't even know if I've ever taken it out. And I see stuck over here in the corner is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, one of my dung beetles. That's Nugget, as in Poop Nugget, because uh, you give them poop and they turn it into fertilizer. Slimer. Okay, finally, Slimer. This is uh, Akatina. And uh, they are great at, uh, at making... Uh, cementing paste, and they make a little bit of polymer, not a whole lot. They are, I mean, they're all over the place, and, uh, but they're not so easy to tame. I mean, they're easy to knock out, but you have to give them veggie cakes to tame them, and as far as I know, uh, you have to feed them veggie, veggie cakes, and so I have to watch his food. Is that even, oh yeah, they have no gender. Right. You, you have not identified as as anything, so I'm just gonna it. Um, Slimer has to be given uh, veggie cakes every now and then. And I thought Slimer had a buddy. Yeah, see, here's Nugget's buddy, Scoop, as in Pooper Scooper. Um, and, you know, he likes to hang out by fire. And yeah, Slimer. Slimer should have a buddy somewhere, but I he probably ran out the door. So when we're doing the tour, if we'll just keep a, a lookout for <laughs> a, a rogue snail. All right, I will go out here. Here's a, a couple of, really, it's raining. That's okay, because the sun's still kind of out. <clears throat> a couple of penguins. Uh, I started a penguin farm. I was gonna say, "Whoa, that was quick." Uh, started a couple of penguin farms, but uh, and I started with these two, <laughs> and uh, I I just never bothered to name them. But I keep I keep the parents uh, close by, and they look kind of funny, uh, kind of like they are butlers waiting for commands whenever I come in this way, and I come through the door, and there they are. How may we serve you today, sir? All right, anyway. Uh, up here, and yep, we'll have to wait for a render. And we're back. Uh, this is one of my two gotchas 
and an unnamed gacha because uh, they will eat rocks and and garbage and stuff like that and will sometimes turn that into useful things i did go to extinction to get uh the two gotchas um but to be honest they they were not happy for a long time and then they weren't eating and uh, they weren't producing anything and uh and so i just haven't used them they've just been sitting there um making sure they got you know food and yeah, you're fine um, make sure they have stuff to eat and uh, so they can be happy. Uh, the other one is way on the other side of the of the yard. Uh, over here, these are just things I tamed because I needed to tame them. Uh, the last thing I think I tamed on the island before I split for uh, Scorched Earth was this woolly rhino, which I have not come up with a, an appropriate name for the woolly rhino. But I'm sure I'll think of something. Uh, and then, I, again, because I didn't have one, so I just thought I'd go get one. Uh, I tamed a woolly mammoth and uh, named it Snuffle Up, I guess. That's right, baby. All right, there's my ticket out of here. Over here, the largest bird on the island and uh, named it Spruce Goose. I got it because I thought, well, I'll use it because it can carry so much stuff. I'll use it to, uh, hey, Spruce, you going to look at me? You're just going to ignore me. Like, dude, you're so tiny compared to me. I don't care about you. Um, I got it because I thought, well, it can carry so much, and then I'll use it to, uh, uh, to, to carry metal back and forth. Um from my metal refineries to the base. Uh, but in the end, uh, Spruce was just too slow. Just too slow, bro. And so Spruce just sits parked here unless I just want to flap around on something big. I think, did I put a platform on you? No, I, I've, I've got a platform saddle because you can build like a small base on there with guns and turrets and stuff. <clears throat> I just haven't. I don't know who's hissing at me. Stop it. Uh, it's probably all you guys. Uh, this is the egg farm. Uh, made from Uteranuses to make the extraordinary kibble, which I have right here. Yeah, the extraordinary kibble. You need special eggs, and Uteranus eggs are considered special. And so, uh, uh, Uteman, uh, but hey, look, we've already got a couple eggs, which, uh, you know, I just picked up a ton of eggs out here. That brown thing was not an egg. Uh, but anyway, uh, so that's my little egg farm, and uh, and they drop their eggs sometimes off the edge of the cliff or a cliff off the edge of the wall. I'm not gonna run around and pick them up. <clears throat> and this is Super Chicken. I've taken Super Chicken into battle um, a few times. Wait, no, I haven't, because you're only level 14. I'd never take you into battle. You to man. I've taken you to man into battle several times. Level 114. And then over here are my Lystros. Um, and these are these are simple little critters. They uh, they do not attack anything. Uh, they're really slow. When you first start off on Ark, you probably kill a lot of them uh, for food or for for hide. Um, but they will boost uh, XP. I don't know, because constantly all these dinos out here, out there, that look really weird, um, they um, their XP is, is slowly going up. They're slowly leveling up. And if you have these near them, uh, and you pet them, uh, they will, yeah, they will spasm, and then they will uh, cause other creatures within a certain radius to also start to level up a little quicker, which is cool. If you have a dino that you need to level up really fast, grab a few of these guys, and because uh, they're really easy to tame. And then over here are the utility um, dinos, which Nom Nom is is is. You're not in your place, man. I guess I was using Nom Nom to get some berries and stuff uh, before I start filming. So we'll bring Nom Nom over here. 
Uh, Nom Nom's the only dire bear I have. And, um... I got Nom Nom because I was told uh, the bears are amazing at getting honey. You can get them from beehives that are out in the wild, which I have uh, three beehives that uh, I made up here. Not that I made them, but you have to capture the queen, and it's awful. And I don't know how many times I died um, capturing queen bees or trying to capture and failing to capture queen bees. But anyway, I've got three hives up here. And they just weren't producing the honey fast enough. Because uh, you have to leave the bees alone for a while to make honey. Um, and so I went and tamed a bear. And once I tamed a uh, bear, and I named him Nom Nom. He's, I'm guessing Nom Nom. Are you a he? You are a he. Uh, because I got stuck in the trap with... Uh, <laughs> with the bear <laughs> he was eating me and I was stuck underneath him uh, I glitched into Nom Nom and he just kept eating on me and uh, and I don't remember I think I was just shooting him from the inside and he finally uh, passed out and uh, somehow I mostly lived through that uh, here is the infamous Oreo my first Thylacolio tame here on the island and uh, I love Thylacolios. Uh, sadly, Oreo, don't tell Oreo, but uh, I've got a Thylacolio back on Scorched Earth. And it's not even Creamsicle that is probably going to replace you because it is so beast mode. But anyway, uh, running down. These are all, by the way, my utility dinos. Ignore the big freakishly um, thing in the background that only has two polygons that make it up. This is this is Skanky, the Ankylosaurus, great for mining metal. I think this is a leftover from either the summer beach event or last year's Easter event because Skanky's got some really crazy colors going on there. And uh, and this is the Dodicarus, which I use for. Uh, mining stone I just named him uh, or it's a she, sorry, named her Dodie and, <laughs> and this guy <laughs> uh, you know, I just wanted one and they aren't really useful for anything but they are kind of funny At least I think they're funny, maybe they have some sort of use but I don't know what it is Look, I'm writing on them. <laughs> Gigantopithecus. Uh, which I think is, I think technically is just a large gorilla. Uh, I just call him Bigfoot. But uh, it, it just looks like a large gorilla to me. And, and it was purple. Or kind of purpley, so I named it Magilla. Magilla Gorilla. Uh, oh, hey! Hey, Chompy! Uh, this is the beaver, Chompy. Chompy's great for going out and getting wood. I don't care what your friends say. You're the best at getting wood. And then here is Kermit. Kermit is a toad. An amazing swimmer. And uh, his tongue will stun things, which is pretty cool. And then uh, here is... Um, yeah, I don't even remember what these are called. It's the elk. Okay. Megaloceros. Sorry, but I just named it Donner. I think I got it around right before the Christmas event, and I usually have Christmas antlers on there. Uh, but as far as these guys go, I have two go-to animals if I'm going to go running around out of these, and one of them is Oreo, and the other is down here, and his name is Barry. What's up, Barry? Haven't seen you in a long time. Miss you, Barry. Barry the Baryonyx, level 99, super caver. Man, if I want to go in a cave, I take either Barry or I take Wario. Um, and that's it. I, I take one of those two. Uh, so let's run over here. And then we may have to wait on a render. I'm not, we'll just kind of see. Uh, in the meantime, uh, we'll stop here. Here's my little pack of hyenas. I, I think I only named a couple of them. 
Uh, they're kind of cool because the more of them you get, uh, the more bonus uh, you get with pack behavior and stuff like that. Uh, Doggo here is uh, he's the, the alpha of the group, and you can see the little glowing. And um, if you encounter this many out in the wild, you're probably in for a lot of trouble. Unless you are on a dino and you can kill a few of them, and then they will scatter and they will run. But uh, in large numbers, they will attack. And I think one of them's named Hitman, of Doge, and then I, I never named the other, oh, Fetch, and then I've got an unnamed. Well, you look really different from all the others. Where'd you come from? <laughs> I don't remember, but whatever. Whatever. Doesn't matter. We don't care. Uh, and they are kind of the security, their base security. Although you know, I've got these walls and gates everywhere, because I'm I'm really close to a uh, a, a spawn point for allosauruses and T Rexes and uh, and stuff like that. Although I'm pretty confident that um, if anything did get in, that uh, these guys and everything else would just make short work of it. But. Uh, I don't know. I, I I go back and forth on whether or not I should tear the tear the walls down. Uh, these two super hard for me to find, but they're great if you need um, some uh, very special kind of meat. And, uh, and so I named I named her lunch, and he is dinner. Yeah, don't look at me like that. And then uh, the Spinosaurus, again, from Jurassic Park. Um, named it Godzuki, Godzuki, which was uh, from the Godzilla cartoon when I was a kid. Because um, it looks kind of like a baby Godzilla, sort of. Okay, after watching Godzilla vs. Kong yesterday. No, it doesn't look anything like Godzilla. But whatever. Um, they're fun. Yeah, baby. What's up? And so, uh, this is Bite. Couldn't remember your name. Uh, for a while, for a while, uh, Bite was named Tiny. Do you mind? Uh, Bite was named Tiny. Tiny, or, or Bite, is a Gigantosaurus. Bigger than the T-Rex. Uh, let's see if we can get up here. All right. And you can see Bite compared to, that's a, those are T-Rexes right there. So bite is humongous uh, compared to T-Rexes. I am tiny. Look, I'm just swallowed up in the saddle. <laughs> help me! Help me! All right, let's see. Look, I'm I'm little bitty compared to uh, compared to that thing. All right, let me get off here. Great thing about tech armor. Don't take fall damage. Uh, and then oh yeah, hey hey there. Um, did I ever name you? Mr. Ed. As a horse. I don't why, don't know why I tamed a horse. I don't need a horse. I don't use a horse. But I did, and I named it Mr. Ed. And we're going to work our way up this way. Um, here's Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> and, uh, some people like to call them Tickle Chickens. Because if you look at these claws, that's insane. And they do m massive amounts of damage, uh, which is why I bred up an army of them. And uh, But you can also use them to uh, use those little scissor hands to do some fine tooth resource gathering. Uh, anyway. Uh, and then, then we get to the two surviving... Um, Raptors, Happy, who is happy because uh, he's wearing the the uh, animated skin from Ark, the animated series, which isn't out yet. But when they announced it, they released uh, some skins, and I and personally, I thought it was pretty cool looking. And uh, and so Happy's happy because I slapped that on there. And that's bashful. Uh, you might have seen where I was going with, with raptors. I did have a raptor pack early on. 
they were all kind of named after the seven dwarves. Um, but after a while, the raptors were not very helpful. Uh, you haven't figured it out. I got this one during the uh, Christmas event. That's the Baconator. It's a Deodon. It will heal up sick dinosaurs. <laughs> and here's Cheap Date. Is the sun going down? It is. Uh, here's Cheap Date. And, um, and I don't know what they're good for. Uh, they fling poo also. Um, but I used... Uh, I did, again, I just wanted to tame one, but you had to tame it with beer, and uh, and so uh, I have a a thing inside the base uh, that ferments berries, and I uh, hooked it up to the water system, you know, right there, and so in here there is a beer barrel, and uh, um, there we go, inventory. And uh, oh, we got well, there's some beer. I just need to put some jars in there to uh, collect it. But anyway, they tame um, those particular dinosaurs only tame with beer. And um, and uh, she only took one beer, and then she was tame. So I named her Cheap Date. Here are my saber tooths. We're gonna look kind of cool as the sun is going down. Uh, I was going to name them Calvin and Hobbes, but those are both boys' names from the cartoon. So uh, this is Hobbes, and that is Calvina. And then here's my other Thylacolio, and this is Oreo's uh, partner, and this is Kit Kat. And uh, Kit Kat is kind of orange and brown with some... Honestly, Kit Kat looks a whole lot like Creamsicle. And, uh, and there, I had them have a baby... And I took their baby with me to Scorched Earth, and that was going to be my Thylacolio mount on Scorched Earth. Um, but uh, the game crashed, and uh, and baby didn't survive the crash. It looks like it's fixing a storm. Um, so we'll look at one more, and then we'll come back uh, in a little bit in the morning. The last one is this Parasaur. Uh, Optimus 3.0. 3.0 because I've had several Optimuses. It is a tech dinosaur. And uh, right now, Optimus is in alert mode and lets me know if anything uh, mean approaches the base from this side. Uh, which I think I ran right past um, Optimus's buddy. Yeah, nighttime. Megatron. So here's Megatron doing the same thing on the other side of the base in case any baddies come over here. Uh, so it's night. You're not going to be able to see the dinos. So we're going to pause for a little bit until daybreak. <laughs> 